EOM Business Network. So much for one broadcast. Hello there, it's a beautiful day and thank you very much for joining us. You're watching the EOM Business Network, indeed, the voice of corporate Nigeria. I am Olorogo Elkana Moare. Today on the program, we shall be interfacing with select industry operators about their businesses, the operating environment and other related issues. Also on the lineup is Let's Talk and our focus is on E86 Limited, Benignan Trading Group and Brit Property Nigeria Limited as well as Sayavet Resources Limited. On Spot On, we bring you Olajide Oluwashino, who is the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the OGIC Group, a major diversified group of companies in Nigeria. And on the face-to-face, -face, we'll bring you another industry captain, Charles Oyakilome, who is the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Aeropay, one of the fastest growing financial institutions in Nigeria. This is a package you must see. Sit back, I shall bring you the details. Welcome to MRC Engineering Limited. Research reports have shown that any country that desires capacity and quality to enhance productivity for economic growth and development must give adequate attention to human capital. Olumide Ojutalayo is the Managing Director of MRC Engineering Limited. HSC, the health safety environment sector, um, based on this experience this year, um, obviously, the decay of infrastructure, the need to um, maintain the equipment on ground as against spending so much money that we don't have on new equipment all the time. I think um, we don't really have a choice now. Uh, we're now faced with the reality of where we are and who we are. Uh, I'm positive about the next couple of uh, years. The oil industry has been very and progressive, but they have no choice because those standards are very high. It has to be very high because it's a very volatile environment. So if you go to a state like um, Delta State, for example, you find that their, their firefighting service is at a very high level, very high level because they, they collaborate with the um, oil companies that operate there. So in a way, that PPP thing, government and private companies, uh, working together has um, you can see it in such, such places. Diva World Trading Services, producers of Diva Rice, Diva Soya Oil, Diva Palm Oil, Diva Planting Flour, Diva Oats Flour, and Diva Honey. Diva World Trading Services, call us now on our hotline 090 8156 9183 081 8143 6700. Diva World Trading Services. Healthy food for a healthy body. Distributors wanted nationwide. Olugbenga Odeyemi is the senior partner of E86 Limited. We are consistent, we are regional, we are resilient. It's one of the things that I've has kept us in the market for this long. We stay on whatever it is we say that we are going to do and we find a way to, to deliver it. So, for, uh, for example, in, um, in our 20, 2017, we found that uh, it was becoming more difficult to find talented software engineers, especially in Abuja. So we decided to do something about it. Uh, we started just to test the market. We did some training on software development. We found that um, the opportunity was there the skill, the, the interest was there, but the capacity on the part of the organizations to do the training was lacking. So it's one of the spaces that we have been able to fill. So we kind of look into the uh, society, look into the market, and we, we see something that is lacking, and we say, okay, let's do that. We can 
we can fill the space. So that has sort of kept us going, um, also helped us to remain um, fresh, so to speak. So we do not necessarily have to do the same thing uh, over 20 years. Uh, sometimes we see something and we go after it. Sometimes we say, okay, this is a new way to do it then. We are really thankful for the quality of people we've had to work with. Um, we are thankful for those who have supported us, those who have given us a helping hand. As you know, entrepreneurship is a difficult journey, so you sometimes, um, oftentimes, really need a lot of helping hand. I would like to be very thankful for those people who have supported us. We get knocked down oftentimes, a lot, right? So you try to bring in a new product, it doesn't work out. Um, you put months into, into product development, you put months into service development and it really doesn't do well. So you have to go back to the drawing board and do it all over again. So a great um, part of the whole thing, resilience. You stay on it, you keep doing it, you keep refining it, um, you keep correcting it until it's perfect. Ako Philip Paul is the Director of Trade and Investment of the Benignat Trading Group. It has been a case of, um, permit me to use the word, Shunanima Razmatas. That is, one government comes in with one economic policy and leaves out, and the moment he's out of office, the policy dies. Well, we can't talk about this without mentioning structural adjustment program those who are against the introduction of Western policies into African economies say that a structural adjustment program would have worked if Nigeria was the United Arab Emirates. Why? Nigeria is not um, is a multilingual coagulation of people. Now when you have a multilingual coagulation of people, let's go back to the definition of culture. It's defined as a way of life of people. It involves their economy, it involves their mindset, it involves their beliefs. Now you're bringing structural adjustment program to unify a system that is not yet seen itself as an entity. Now until we get the dictate or the debate on working together as one, there is nothing that is possible. Because one of the failures attributed by the um, American Air Force, I think a report they released in 1992, you know, the structural adjustment program was the program that introduced the privatization of so many public sectors. Good. At the point this thing happened, what was the cost? It was attributed that Nigeria was running on high expenses and they needed to cut that expenses. That is a good intention. But what were the outcomes? It is classified information and known that it was within this period that corruption was instituted in Nigeria. It's on record. Now, if we have leaders who are stating one thing and doing the other, what do you think the follow-up will do? So we'll adopt the same pattern. Now, the compromise of one generation became the culture of the next, starting from structural adjustment program. Then we have um, Operation Feed the Nation, when our chief, um, Obasanjo, came into power. He did relatively well. But the fact that the things he did were done is a testament to the fact that there could be more. That really Nigeria can be developed if the leaders want it to. Everything falls and rises on leadership. But let's spec it on the fact that the leaders we've come to elect become monsters when they get into power. City of David Estate is here. Want to be a part of one of the most affordable, profitable and secure real estate developments in Nigeria, be a proud owner of any of our two-bedroom bungalow fully detached, three-bedroom bungalow fully detached, three-bedroom penthouse or four-bedroom duplex with an initial deposit of as low as 20% on any of our properties. Choose OGIC. The Dignan Trading Group is a cosmopolitan corporation poised at delivering excellently with recourse to peace, partnership, progress, and profit through all its specialized services, which includes haulage services and warehousing, real estate development and construction, forex and commodity trade, hospitality management and development, amongst others. Call us on our hotline or come over to our corporate office.
the Benigna Trading Group, your preferred investment solution provider. Bright Chimezie is the Chief Executive Officer of Bridge Property Nigeria Limited. Bridge Property Limited started far back 10 years ago. It started with an enterprising firm called Bridge Cleanway Venture. And um, under that company, we had about four companies, and after which we now added more companies to it. You know, so today we have about 25 listed just here in Lagos. Up to the top of them, we also have in the east, we have also in our state. I had the background of insurance man. I worked with Leadway for over 15 years. So that's where I had my sales skill trained. And after that, I started my own company. And then all the way, I'm a sales person. So basically, our, our vision for the company is to be African affordable housing for corporate and individuals to be a leading estate by 2030. So we want to be a face in terms of real estate business in Africa. We're targeting the middle class to make sure that they all, they all have their own homes that they can be proud of as our major um, musician for, for the company for now. Our cover list is on our name, Great, means that we're targeting the middle class majorly. That was affordable real estate. So we want to be affordable face for affordability in terms for the middle class. Middle class there doesn't mean anyone that is working at earning something could also you know plan for having their own homes. So we want to make sure that we're reliable in what we're doing. If we say we want to do this, we we'll try all we can to make sure we get there. You know, we have integrity. We don't we're not um, um for us to grow um because I did one shop anywhere in um catastrophe complex from one shop to move to two to three and today we'll have we are here today. You know, we have branches all over. So you could see that the integrity is key. We keep to our words. We don't say one and tomorrow we say nay. So we're saying this is what we want to do. We are focused on what we want to do. And by God's grace, we'll get there. So that trust is very, very key in terms of business. So we don't, don't joke with it. So we'll try to make sure that we do all we can to give our clients all the other all ones, make them smile, make them happy by like getting their own lands and make sure they get what they want. talking about digital banking space, we're talking about Aeropay. Aeropay is a vision. It's a vision for the future and it's bringing the future into the present and making the future look simple. Aeropay is the best way to go and it's the fastest way to go. So for you, what really tickles your fancy when it has to do with the app? The app for me is a very smart app. The fact that I'm not doing traditional banking. I know Aeropay has a lot to offer. So the whole idea is to digitalize North Africa. Nigeria first base, they move into West Africa and the whole of Africa. So that's what it's about. In the comfort of your bedroom, you can actually sit back, relax, and make transactions all over borders, 270 countries, and even more. Aerobay, your bankless world. Ehizogie Ogwebo is the Chief Executive Officer of Sayavet Resources Limited. It's a company I started in 2011. I was an underwriter. I was with Stacco Insurance PLC. Um, but I knew that wasn't what I wanted to do. My visions were way more than that. And I knew for a fact that I enjoyed designing, especially the finishing parts. You know, that's flooring, ceilings, and all of that. But when I started, I actually started small. I mean, everybody does. We started with curtains, you know, little jobs here and there. I think my first major break was from Emo State, you know. Then um, I made enough money to open a store, my first store in VGC. And uh, after that, I closed that down because it was slow. I opened it inside an estate that they don't have a lot of developing buildings. They have more developed buildings. So people are not really buying. So I'm like, no, I need to move to somewhere more 
congested that where they have like a cluster of upcoming buildings and i thought of lecky one then we closed it i think we still had about a year rent but i said no let's go and i opened up in lecky and i mean after then it's just been a jolly ride we sell furniture we have a couple of showrooms we have our head office in lecky we uh, we do winter print designs we do 3D imageries, uh, we do consultations, we do interior design, we do finishing. Um, right now, we're thinking about going into full-time construction, which is something in the pipeline for next year. But right now, anything to do with finishing, furnishing, design, we, we do that. Okay, the mission and vision was to make people just give us a job and just get their hands off and say, I want to move in with my bags. That was actually the, the vision. People trust us enough. I mean, people abroad can say, oh, I give you a carcass building, block work. I want to come back and move in with my bags, with my family, and be sure that we would deliver. What is nice to me may not look nice to you. You may be a contemporary modern person, and I'm more, okay, I like classic. A good design is a design that is appreciated by both the consumer, which is the client, and I interpreting the design. That's what I call a good design because at times you could do something really nice and the client is like, no, I don't like this. So good should be acceptable by both parties. Yeah. Well, it takes a whole lot, especially as a woman. You know, um, I'll say number one, you have to have the right team. You know, you have to have, I mean, human resources. You have to have the right zeal and you have to be in the line that you actually enjoy. Because I tell people that when you do something you enjoy and it, it almost comes effortlessly, it feels like you're not even working because you enjoy it. It becomes like a hobby. Being resilient, uh, determined, focused, and um, and I, th I think that's about it and a lot more, yeah. E86 Limit. E86 Limited, your information and communication solutions provider. Olajide Oluwashino is the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the OGIC Group. Uh, presently, we try to come up with a real estate. You know, why they call it real estate is something that is very visible. That if you are doing it, people will know. We've acquired a lot of land within the open state assets and legal assets. What just is not about just selling land, it's all about developing where we find ourselves. Presently, now we are developing the city of David Estate at uh, Obada Oko, whereby we have our product very from a four bedroom, two place, two bedroom penthouse, three bedroom bungalow, and two bedroom bungalow. I see for now it's good. They trying their best to see how they can put check and balances into real estate partition all over Nigeria. I think so, they can still do more. Now the COVID-19 is a serial thing all over the globe. If you look at one of the basic necessity of life, which range for feeding, clothing and shelter, which are just the major, you know that real estate fall under shelter. During the COVID, uh, people were struggling to eat, you know, and feeling still come ahead of those basic uh, uh, necessities. And uh, if you look at those basic necessities, feed is one of the most easy. And the easier of it is what people are finding difficult. And also the economy too, in terms of uh, finances, there's no business that people cannot earn. So it has really make it difficult for real estate business to boom within this season. 
the next five years, all the various businesses we want to version into should have materialized. The most important that is there to us is the impact we'll make in the society. Not because that OGS is interested in making profit, but create value and create a new orientation. And we we'll have a narrative of the new Nigeria we're looking up to. That is our best goal. We are called Brit Property Nigeria Limited. Property Nigeria Limited, Property Management, Estate Management, Brit Property Nigeria Limited. Call us now. Your hands together resoundingly for the man behind the vision, Charles Oyakilome John. I, I like to solve problems, um, so I always tell people that the chaos in our country is an opportunity for us to create solutions. And one of the ways we can create solutions is using technology. And uh, I, I always tell people that value is what gives money. So if you if you create value, you get money. And the financial sector is one area that I see that is lacking because as long as we're in this earth, we're going to keep making payments, we're going to keep buying goods. And this is the country where you can be a billionaire and be stranded. Yeah, I've experienced it. You want to get four at the station, terminals are not working, and you need to get four, you're stranded. We have a total of about 185,000 active customers, and uh, we're doing about 100 billion naira in loan on a daily basis. We have a strategy in place where we intend to do over 4 billion naira on a daily in terms of loan. Charles Oyahilome is the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of AeroPay. The AeroPay app it's, uh, is to bridge the gap in the financial sector to solve solutions where the commercial banks are lacking. So we, we can provide loans in two minutes. So you don't need to visit any bank building. So you can get loan from a mobile application from the comfort of your home and get loan in two minutes. You can make trans transactions from the comfort of your home doing banking transactions. So there's a gap and we, someone needs to fill the gap and we decide to fill that gap. So that's what, is, that's what the AeroPay app is about. So I like to solve problems using technology to solve problems. So, and the financial sector is one area that has a lot of challenges. In terms of payments, I mean, you had a shop to make payment, the periods are not working, you had a force station to get gas, and all of these pose a challenge. And the chaos in Nigeria is an opportunity for us to create solutions. And create solutions with technology, I decided to build this um, application to, to, meet, to address these issues. And uh, today, payments are seamless on our application zero downtime, super fast, you know, and all of those things have been addressed. And we're still building, it's a journey, and we're moving pretty fast. In the app, you can transfer money to 120 million mobile wallets across Africa. You can send money to Ghana, to South Africa, to Kenya, MPSA, to Tigo Cash, Zimbabwe, to EcoCash, all of these platforms across Africa. So today in Africa, there's about a billion people in the continent. So from the application, you can move from within the continent. So beyond that, you can also send to Europe. Our app is plugged to SEPA. 
so you can send forms across Europe, you know, and you can also send to America, you know, and uh, this is one of the benefits, what's on the country currently. And um, you can also top up international airtime, over a thousand networks. You know, I mean, each time I travel to the country, I have to get the country seen and buy airtime. I know I expect there's about six, seven hundred Iran buying airtime locally there. So with the Aeropay app, you can top up your airtime in various countries around the world, in about 210 countries globally. So with Aeropay, you're actually living smartly globally. So you have a, lo a local company that, but you're really global. To be the number one digital bank in Africa, the idea is to digitalize of Africa. So you step into Kenya, step into Zambia, any of the country in Africa. So you don't think of opening an account in that country. With your Aeropay app, you can carry on bank transactions real time in any of these countries. So our mission is to be the number one digital bank in Africa. And we're moving very fast in that direction. Yeah, the, you, you can use technology to actually tackle the security issues in the country. You know, we can deploy a lot of technology in terms of even our voting system. So technology is the way to go. And until the country embrace that, you will not notice change yet. So because with technology, you can do a lot. It's the new order. We're in a digital age. And it's high time the country embrace it at this time or we left behind. You go to countries where you drive into an hotel, nobody checks your car, nobody asks you anything, but they have much security. But here in our country, you do go somewhere, you have to come down, open your boots, open your bonnet. All of those things can address with technology. I don't have to do that. I just put a security system there that just scan your car, scan everything. If you have any wrong guard in your car, just blow an alarm. I mean, this is the way to go. We can really actually deploy technology to uh, address the security system in the country. The vision here in Neocla Technology is for us to see how we can impart knowledge to young Nigerians who really don't have the technical know-how on how to go about the IT industry. And that's our program for today. Thank you very much for spending your valued time with us. We hope it was worth your while. But just in case you missed out on any aspect of it, then you can come with us to eomcoms.com and any of our other social portals as you can see on the screen. Thank you very much our sincere sponsors for your continued interest and support. Always remember, with you and us, we are chaps. Oh yes, I remain Olorogo Elkana Moari. Please, let's do this again, same time, same channel, next week. We'll see you then.